Good afternoon guys, this is Ace, back again for another Transformers review. This time I'm going to be looking at something that's a little bit old. I've had this guy in my collection for a long time now. I just didn't want to open it up. I thought let me have a fairly good reason to open it up. And um, now that I'm doing YouTube videos, I have close to 40 subscribers and I've done 50 videos in total. I thought this is a good enough time. Um, once I do reach 100 subscribers, I will do a competition as well. So definitely look out for that. But when that's going to be, I don't know. I still have 60 subscribers to go. So we come back to that. Here we have Beast Wars Razor Claw. Now this guy is a Predacon. There we go. This guy is a Predacon. And he looks really, really cool. When I got this guy, I was thinking, all right, this guy will probably have a really shitty robot mode, but his alt mode is fantastic. Now, this is also one of the reasons why I don't own too many Beast War figures. It's because I just hate the fact that you have so much kibble and you might have like a complete head, you know, sticking out of the shoulder or your hand might be the head. You know, this is just, I don't know, it's not my thing. I like to have uh, bots which are fairly clean. I mean, look at the alternators, for example. You know, I've got a lot of alternators, and they're probably my favorite line from the Transformers. But uh, Beast Wars never really caught my fancy. But I do have a couple ones, a couple of good ones. And this one just looks really good, so I thought, let me get this guy. You do get uh, quite a few of the other ones as well. Here it shows that you've got Rhinox, and you've got Cyber Shark, you've got Armadillo. Wolfang, Air Razor, and Tigotron. And then on the Decepticon line, Black Arachnia, Buzzsaw, Insecticon, Razor Claw, which is this guy, Snapper, Jetstorm, and Inferno. I want to get Inferno. This is something that looks really cool. You know, oh, it's got a fairly decent robot mode, and his alt mode is absolutely fantastic. Um, I might try and see if I can get the trans metal version, you know, the metallic version. That would be pretty cool. Okay, and then it also gives you this card, which gives you its tech specs, and it gives you its profile. Now again, see, you know, this is something they need to bring back properly in the newer, um, the newer toys, a proper profile. I mean, the new Iron Hyde and Megatron ones from Dark of the Moon, they had absolutely zilch. So, what does this guy say? This guy says he is capable of remaining motionless beneath a layer of sand. Razor Claw is one of the best quick attack specialists they've got. When enemies approach his hidden location, his powerful pincher claw shoots up through the surface to capture and impale victims with the claws protruding cyber spikes. Radar defeating shell armor allows him to stay cloaked from maximal sensors. Blaster rifle is secondary claw fires, disruptor particles, temporarily paralyzing his unsuspecting prey. Yeah, whatever. And then you get the actual instructions itself. It's going to be a very, very complicated tr transformation. I mean, as you can see, it's got completely four steps. Okay, let's get this guy open, finally. Have a look at this, by the way. This is something that's really funny for me. It says here, the crab becomes undercover attack robot with spiked assault claw. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't it supposed to be the other way around? That you're actually a bot which transforms into an alt mode to become undercover? Here, they've got it the wrong way around. Anyway, let's get this guy open. Okay, so now that we have him out of his packaging, Razor Claw really does deliver exactly what he promises. I mean, honestly speaking, guys, this guy's paintwork and apps and detail is fantastic. I don't know if how well you can see this, but the paint apps are amazing on this guy. His whole shell, his whole claw, everything, it just shines, it glitters. And it's not because it's brand new or anything, it's just the paint that they've used is... Somehow it's shiny, but it's not sparkly. I have no idea how they've done that. And he looks really cool. I mean, if you look at it from this way, he is exactly a crab. He's got two different kinds of pincers, though. This one is a little bit thinner than this one, and that's partly because of the gimmick. But, you know, I think there are crabs out there which have these same mechanisms. The legs themselves are somewhat articulated. They don't have too much movement apart from up and down, and it's just over there on where it joins the body. That's about it. These are obviously going to be the robot legs in the end, but uh, they they hide out pretty well. I mean, honestly speaking, I can tell, okay, there's some part of a crab. It doesn't really stick out so bad as if he's going to be, you know, a robot later on. Now, if you do look at it from this side, then you can tell exactly what's going to happen with this transformation. Easily. 
but uh, you know these guys are never meant to be displayed this way anyway he's always supposed to be this way and when you display him like this on your shelf for example forget it this guy looks unbelievable he looks really really good now he does have two gimmicks which are from his alt mode as well as in his robot mode the first one is over here you've got a little bit of a peg and if you pull it back it opens up with his really sharp spiky spikes which apparently impale people and cause a lot of damage this is what they were saying in the bio and basically you just pull it back up and that's it now the second one is in his other pincer this is literally nothing no gimmick as such but if you pull up the pincer you display a beam rifle in there and I like how they've got different colors I mean this thing is a very nice translucent blue they've got that all over even over here for the pincer the back part of the shell the legs I'll come back to that but it's a beautiful beautiful color and then of course you've got this thing which is also somehow translucent which is very nice silver gun so you know you've got a lot of different paint apps this guy is very very well detailed now I got this guy on sale from Big Bad Toy Store a long time ago for what maybe seven dollars eight dollars and I definitely think this guy was worth it I think normally he would have retail for what 17 18 maybe if you get a mint condition like how I had maybe even goes up to 20 so I think I'd have a good, really good deal on this guy to transform him is as I had said before very very simple you take out the head so you just literally pull him off this part you just uncurl legs you straighten up just like that and this is what I really like if you look at the color it's become it's actually purple in real life on the camera it's coming out to be a little bit bluish but as you can see it's made out of this clear plastic which is just it looks really really nice especially with the amount of detail that they've given him and the ridges and all the you know like the shell of a crab it's really really beautiful honestly speaking I I might just get into Beast Wars if they're all like this you know but I've seen a few of them and they're just suck anyway okay so the next thing you do once you straighten out the legs is you open up its feet so he can actually stand and then the last thing is the crab shell you move up literally just slide him up from the side and the legs can just move up back to give him some space now this is the point of the beast war figures which I said in the beginning I do not like um, it's just very difficult to find any kind of remoteness like a robot here in terms of the hands the feet you know but I get it it's a beast war figure it's gonna be like these which is cool I mean I can I can live with that that's not an issue there's just too much kibble I don't like the way these legs just stick out they should be nice if you could rotate and put him down you know this thing here which just kind of act like the bottom part of the crab why couldn't we just fold this up somehow or make it all the way to the back oh yeah yeah anyway this guy is you could say he's supposed to be a deluxe size but I would probably assume this guy to be more along the slightly bigger than a scout just under a deluxe size I don't think he's a basic he's more of a scout but even here check this out his torso and his stomach area is so well defined I love it and look at the head sculpt and this is the first time I've seen a guy that looks like a crab on his head as well he's pretty cool I'm honestly speaking he's really really well done okay so that's pretty much it these gimmicks still follow on to him over here he does have a fair bit of art articulation. Everything is on a ball joint, moves every which way. Um, no worries. How's his balance? His balance is pretty good. Despite the fact that he's got a huge backpack, legs all over the place, his balance is pretty good. So you are going to get some fair amount of decent posing out of this guy. And if you look over here is where you find the Predicon. Spark symbol. I don't know how well it's picking it up, but there you go. That's a Predicon symbol so it's not bad you know honestly speaking I would definitely advise this guy to anyone who's interested in Beast Wars or someone who's trying to get into Beast Wars similar to how I am this guy is a very very good first option alright this is Ace I hope you've enjoyed the review I will see you guys at the next one